my dear friends uh, welcome back again so in this video i will discuss uh, the question number fifth b of the module third uh, from the mathematics third semester for the csc stream students okay so uh, by continuing uh, this question uh, before an increase in excise duty on t 400 people out of a sample 500 persons were found to be tea drinkers after an increase in duty 400 people were tea drinkers in a sample of 600 people okay so before what are the problems we have solved so far that were based on only one samples okay here you are dealing with the two samples over here okay so using standard error of proportion state whether there is a significant decrease in the consumption of tea for 95 percent and 99 percent level of significance this is uh, also called as five percent level of significance this is one percent level of significance okay so no need to confuse over here so <clears throat> in these uh, problem what uh, wherever you will find uh, two types of samples over there okay write down the given data first of all first sample is here sample of 500 person so n1 is equal to 500 and uh, your next sample is sample of 600 people so n2 is equal to 600 so for this if i will calculate the probability p1 is equal to how much is the uh, so, sorry 400 people out of a sample 500 so 400 divided by 500 which are the t uh, sorry who are the t drink drinkers who are there okay so 400 divided by 500 so you will get the probability p1 is equal to 0 0.8 okay next is n2 is equal to sample is 600 after an increase in duty 400 people were p drinkers okay so 400 out of 600 you will get the probability second over here p2 is equal to 0 0.66 p2 is equal to 0 0.66 okay so if you have to calculate the overall probability okay which is used in the formula later on so p is equal to n1 p1 plus n2 p2 divided by n1 plus n2 okay this n1 value already we know n2 already we know and p1 and p2 also we have calculated so just put down these values n1 and p1 uh, and n2 and p2 divided by n1 plus n2 you will get probability is equal to 0 0.7236 right then probability of an event plus probability of not an event is always equal to 1 this is the formula which uh, we usually use in all of the problems okay so q is equal to 1 minus p q is equal to 1 minus this p value you will get q value as 0 0.276 i hope up to this it is clear okay next is uh, using standard error of proportion so there comes a uh, standard error in the picture that is e is equal to under root of pq into 1 divided by n1 plus 1 divided by n2 so formula for z in order to check uh, there is a significant decrease in the consumption as mentioned in the question state whether there is a significant decrease in the consumption of t for 95 percent 99 percent level of significances okay so there is a formula that is p1 minus p2 divided by standard error so first of all we will calculate the standard error value okay so it is equal to this much so e is equal to p value already we have calculated and q also calculated okay so 0 0.72 into 0 0.276 multiplied by 1 divided by n1 is 500 n2 is 600 okay so while calculating this much you will get e is equal to 0 0.027 okay then put down this e value in this particular equation z is equal to 0 0.8 minus 0 0.66 upon 0 0.027 so you will get z value as 5.18 so at 9 95% level of significance we have to check whether there is a significant decrease in the consumption of t so z is equal to 1.96 it is the standard value at 95% level of significance or simply 5% level of significance so z is equal to 5.18 is greater than 1.96 obviously therefore we can write down the conclusion hypothesis is rejected okay at 99% level of significance the standard value of z is 2.58 you should remember this one actually you will be provided with the handbook it is also mentioned over there so z is equal to 5.18 it is also greater than this 2.58 value standard value i can write down in the conclusion that also hypothesis is rejected in this case so there there is no significant decrease in the t over there the consumption of t i hope uh, this much is clear to you people and this is the overall solution for this particular problem so dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends uh, who are having the need of these particular questions. Thank you.